Hello, I'm Sarah Allen and this is Livewise The Pitch. Today I'm joined by John Stover from Tribeca Investment Partners. We're going to take a look at how you can profit from event driven and special situations across the Asian credit universe. John, welcome. Thank you. So to begin with, what is event driven and special situations in the context of Asian credit? Yeah, so if you look at the past 12 months, really the special situations opportunities and event-driven catalyst opportunities that we've focused on is really companies buying back their own bonds. And so if you look back about 18 months ago, the market was the cheapest it's ever been in Asia. The yield on the Asia High Yield Index got to about 22%, which was actually higher than it was in the GFC. Investment grade bonds were also just very dislocated at that point in time. And what the companies have been doing is they've seen how cheap their bonds are and they've been using either free cash flow or using their assets and getting bank finance that's secured by those assets and buying back their cheap bonds. And so that's really what we've been focused on over the past 12 to 18 months is getting in front of some of those buybacks because those buybacks can move the market price of the bond up by 5, 10, 15 points. And we're really seeing that across the region. So this has been happening in India, Southeast Asia, China, um, even to some degree in Australia and Japan as well. Um, and so there's been a lot of examples over the past year that we've, we've um, you know, really been able to sort of dig into the balance sheet, try to understand what assets the company has that are unencumbered that they can get some finance on, and try to understand what the attitudes of management around that are and, and what the refinancing plans are. Okay, are there any sectors that you're favoring at the moment? Yeah, so within that, look, it's been actually across sectors and across countries. So you know, we've, done, we've seen some pretty large buybacks in the Indian renewable space. We've seen some in Indonesian property and also in the natural resources space. We've even seen some in, in Macau um, and in, Ch in China in the tech space as well as industrial space. Um, so we've had exposures in each of those countries and sectors that have um, been positive drivers for us in terms of performance. Okay, so you're tipping this to be a source of outperformance in 2024. Why is that? Yeah, look, so you know, the yield on our portfolio generally we're sort of 10 to 11 percent at the moment. Um, now that, in addition to just the yield, you can have these kickers in the portfolio, which are those event-driven and catalyst opportunities. And at any given month, that can add sort of one to two percent of return for us. So we think, you know, given where yields have gone, there's a lot of carry in the portfolio, and you're going to get a lot of positive performance just based on the yield alone. But then with these catalysts that, again, can move the market price of the bond by 10 or 15 points, those positions can give us kickers in the portfolio um, so that we can produce even sort of low to mid-teens returns on a one-year basis. So can you take us through an example of how you've invested in this space? Yeah, sure. So one that's very topical at the moment is a company called Lippo Karawachi. And those bonds traded down significantly into sort of 70, 60 cents on the dollar a couple years ago, um, partly because of what was happening in the market. And you saw the, what was happening in China impact the sentiment in the market in 2022. That's really decoupled from what we're seeing outside of China in 2023. But we bought the bonds, and really the thesis behind that was the company had a lar large degree of unencumbered assets that they could use to get secured finance. They own the largest hospital business in the country. They were also one of the largest real estate developers. And that hospital business has no debt on it. And so what, the, what we've done is we bought the bonds in 60, 70 cents on the dollar. They did a tender offer for the bonds that was funded by a bank loan um, in early 2023. And we think they're going to be able to get another bank loan um, that are using, using the hospital business and, and buy back their own bonds. So those have actually moved up to about 95 cents on the dollar right now. We actually think there's still some upside left there. Thank you so much for taking us through event-driven special situations investing across the Asian credit universe today, John. Thanks very much. If you've enjoyed this interview, please subscribe to LiveWire's YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.